Hi everyone, Jenna Morton here with another bedtime story that I wrote for my kids. This one is about John Peters Humphrey, human rights advocate. When 11 year old John arrived at boarding school in Rothsay, he was an orphan with one arm and his classmates made fun of him because of it. John was just a baby when his father died of cancer. Then when he was six, doctors had to amputate part of his arm when it was badly burned in an accident. Boarding school became his home when his mother died, but it wasn't a warm, loving place. John decided then he would spend his life showing compassion and helping other people who were being bullied. John found friends who wanted to do the same things when he moved to Montreal for university. One of the people John met was Henry, who had left his home in France because the Nazis were about to invade. Henry also knew what it was like to have someone try to take away your dignity, just like John had felt at boarding school. After the Nazis were defeated, a group of people from around the world formed the United Nations. Henry worked for the UN, and he asked John to join him as the first director of human rights. A UN committee led by Eleanor Roosevelt then asked John to write a set of rules that would protect the rights of everyone in the world. There is a fundamental link between human rights and peace, explained John. There will be peace on earth when the rights of all are respected. The UN Universal Declaration of Human Rights has been translated into more than 320 languages. It states that human beings are born free and equal in dignity and rights. Words written by a humble little boy from Hampton, New Brunswick. <laughs>